Well, this morning we're starting off looking at the tropics. Now it is July. We start to see a little more activity. Traditionally, we've had five name storms already this year, getting to the earliest fifth name storm on history, breaking that of what we saw in 2005, although we haven't seen you the intensity of storms like we did know five so far, fortunately, but we do still look for the hot spots here in the Northwest Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico and along the East Coast of the United States. But then we start to expand looking for viewing uh, storms developing out here in the Atlantic. Fortunately, nothing really coming from out that way which is some good news. You can see out that way this morning, pretty much quiet conditions out there. A couple of tropical waves, but nothing more than a clump of thunderstorms. Nothing expected to develop there. The Caribbean the Gulf of Mexico is quiet, but then you see we do have Invest 98 here along the east coast of the United States. They're right along the Carolinas. It does have an 80% chance of development over the next couple of days here as it works its way right along the coastline. And you'll notice the kind of zoomed in on here. The winds are up to 30 miles per hour as of one o'clock this morning, moving east northeast at right around eight and the pressure fairly high 1008 millibars, but as it continues to work its way across the Outer Banks, most of those thunderstorms you notice are kind of blown off to the east of it here, not really a wrapping around the center because it's battling that land mass there. But if we can get some of the storms to kind of get a little bit stronger, a little low can may form in, in amongst the thunderstorms and it would quickly likely become a subtropical or tropical depression or storm. It would get the name Faye if it does. Now it's going to be tracking here across the Outer Banks, not too far from the Chesapeake Bay there up across Delmarva, New Jersey, back to New York. To Connecticut heading up to the New England area. So if it does become a tropical system, could be impacting some of the big cities up there with some rain and also some gusty winds. So we'll be watching that, but nothing we have to worry about down here along the Gulf Coast.